Good morning and welcome to Paul T's World. This morning I woke up to rain. Glorious rain. Now you'd expect in England there to be rain every day, but in fact we've just had the driest May on record. No we haven't, we've had the sunniest May on record and it's been the driest since 1896. Wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, blue skies, every day. Absolutely glorious. I've loved it. However, the garden has not been quite so keen. And as you can see, the grass has gone rather brown, but it will green up again in no time now that we've had this rain. I couldn't resist coming out and videoing the plants to share with you the beauty of plants in the rain. And also how I collect water. I'm an aficionado of collecting water. My friends make fun of me, I've got so many water butts. Uh, we'll have a look at the water butts. Because we haven't had rain in such a long time, I actually filled up trugs uh, from the water butts to make sure I maximised the amount of rain that fell. It was probably for about six hours. I didn't expect so much rain, but it was glorious, absolutely glorious. I even have a trug under the potting shed, so I don't waste a drop. Quite apart from it being cheaper to use rainwater rather than the water from the tap, it's also better for the plants. The plants love rainwater, particularly the ericaceous plants. That's the pyrus, the rhododendrons, the azaleas, even gooseberries, uh, raspberries, all ericaceous plants. Many woodland plants are ericaceous. In this video, I want you to look out for a plant that you would not be expecting me to grow in the garden and over winter in the garden. So look out for that plant. I think it's gorgeous. And for the very, very first time, I actually planted it out in the garden last autumn. Usually it's in the porch, protected from the winter. So I thought, let's see if it will survive the winter out in the garden. And indeed it did. So I'm very pleased about that.
I hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, please give it a like. It really helps my channel grow and I want it to grow. Who doesn't? Perhaps you might like to subscribe. And if you do, I'm going to see you next time in Paul T's world. Bye.